it is by far my favorite 3D printer that I have ever used. Let me put it this way. This has opened my eyes to uh, what 3D printers can be capable of in this price range. Fucos Odin 5 F3. Let's check it out. There we go. I've never seen this before. I'm gonna show you this. Check this out. <laughs> it's like completely assembled already. Now I've used other machines that say that they're mostly assembled, but nothing like this. I mean, this thing is pretty much 100% assembled. Literally all you have to do is move that gantry up and connect two screws on either side. Now you also have to plug up two ribbon cables, but these ribbon cables are already run. You literally just have to plug them in to the side of the motor. I mean, it's pretty darn simple. The only other thing that you might need to do is if you're gonna be using their filament holder, you will connect that as well, which once again is only two more screws. So at most you're connecting six screws and those two ribbon cables. I mean, you're up and running and printing in a matter of minutes. It's pretty darn amazing. Now the cool thing about that too is if you're a beginner and you don't wanna mess with putting it all together or you're afraid that it might be out of whack when you put it together, you don't have to worry about that with a machine like this. And that is a really big deal. Now, if that was just everything I liked about the printer, that would be pretty neat, but there is a lot more to like about this printer. So let's keep looking at it. Now, one of the things I noticed right away is that they do have a nice cooling vent that goes right here onto the hot end, and that's already assembled right into your unit. A lot of people have to 3D print those off. Now as we make it our way to a back, we're gonna see all the electronics are in this aluminum enclosure right here, which has just a power plug, it does have a fuse, so if the fuse ever goes out, you can switch that out, and then of course your normal power toggle switch for on and off. Now a machine like this, your Z-axis is actually gonna go down and your bed is going to move, so you want your Z-axis to be linear as it goes down on the left and right. And they are establishing that by putting screws on both sides to allow that to go down equidistant all the time. And both of those do have their own motor. That's another huge benefit that they added. On the front side, we're gonna see these ribbon cables that go underneath the extruder and they go underneath your axes here. The reason why that's really neat is a lot of times when you have just normal wires hanging down low from like say an Ender series or something like that, they can get caught up when the movement's going back and forth and it can ruin your print. That may not sound like a big deal, but some of these prints take 24 hours or so. So something like this, I really appreciate because that means that you shouldn't have to worry about hangups at all. The Odin 5 also has some really unique software that makes 3D printing just more fun. If we take a look at its software, one of the things that gives you the most consistent prints is a nice level bed. In order to do this, this can sometimes be a pain, but not with the Odin 5. All you have to do is touch a couple buttons, and by doing that, it will go down in each and every corner, including the center, and allowing you to make those fine adjustments via the knobs underneath. Now this really is nice because you know consistently that you're getting the same leveling every single time. In addition to that, this is a direct drive motor, which is different than a Bowden motor. Everything is all combined into one, so you don't need that Bowden tube. And unloading and loading filament is really easy. Once again, if we look at the software, there is literally just a load and unload filament button. By pressing this button, it heats up the filament to the temperature to unload. And it starts unloading it by itself. It just needs a little gentle tug from you at the end and you can change out your filament. And the same thing with the load, except obviously the opposite. It will start loading your filament for you. Now the cool thing about this type of motor is it really allows you to put your filament anywhere you want in your room. So you could literally put all of your filament just above your machine and by the touch of a button, load and unload whatever filament you want. This does make printing a whole lot easier and a little bit more fun. One of the things you'll notice about the Odin 5 too is it is completely silent when it's printing. The printing aspect of it is unbelievably silent. Well, that is except for the fans. The fans themselves are relatively loud.
And having said that, that's one place I wish that they could improve on, because if they would make those fans silent, this machine you wouldn't even know would be running. In fact, my wife walked in, and the only reason she knew anything was going on is because she heard the fans, not because she heard it printing. Alright guys, I've got to spend a few days with this printer, and I gotta say, I'm loving it. I really thought that when I got this printer that it was going to be a really good beginner printer. I mean, after all, it's really easy to assemble. There's literally four screws and two things you plug in and you're done. But what I didn't expect was everything else that it offered. And that's where I take this from, yeah, it'd be a good beginner machine to, yeah, it's just a great 3D printer in general. The great thing about it is any of you that have been in 3D printing, you know that typically you upgrade your machine by printing off parts and things of that nature. You don't need to do that with this. This just comes the way it should be. And I wish more 3D printers were like that because it makes 3D printing more fun and it gets you up and running immediately. A touch screen, you just don't expect that in a printer this price point. In fact, you don't really expect it at all. And that touch screen makes printing so much more enjoyable. One of the things that I have found to be even more enjoyable about 3D printing is just the ease of use. So here's the deal. If you've been looking for a 3D printer and you've been thinking for a while, you know, I really want to get one, I'm telling you, you don't have to look any further. I, I would I'd get this one. I would buy this one over the Ender 3. I would buy this one over the Ender 5 unless you need the the print size better. If you need the print size, then you know you, you got to go with something like the Ender 5, which I guess would be a drawback with this. It's really just the Ender 3 size. Overall, though, it's a fantastic printer. If you've been considering one, I would I would highly recommend this. It's easy for a beginner, and it's more enjoyable even for those of us who are veterans. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. All right, guys, this is Toys DIY Audio, and I'm out to print some parts. Print a lot of parts. I'm excited. I hope you are.